Hello, and welcome to this video on creating charts. Using WebFocus Designer, you can create charts, grids, and maps, which enable you to convey information visually. You can save and share charts, add saved charts to pages, or edit an existing chart should a scenario change. This lets you take advantage of the flexibility of the chart feature while meeting your needs for presentation, format, and portability. To create a chart, click the Designer tab on the WebFocus homepage and click Chart. Select a data source. This contains the underlying data that is used to create your chart. It could be a master file, .mas, or reporting object, .ro. You can also upload a spreadsheet or connect to an existing data source. When selecting a data source, there are two tabs, Server and Repository. These tabs list data files based on where they are stored. You can find master files on the Server tab and reporting objects on the Repository tab. After you select a data source, you are ready to create. When you open Content Designer, the canvas displays a default vertical stacked bar chart with instructions as to where to place fields. For example, you can drag measures and dimensions from the Field tab to the canvas, add them to the buckets by dragging them, or double-click to automatically place them. You can use the Chart Picker to select a different chart type. The Chart Picker displays on the right side of the canvas. It organizes the chart types and can even expand to display additional options, including chart extensions. You can expand the chart picker to display even more chart types that your administrator installed. Let's create a vertical side-by-side -side bar chart. From the Field tab, in the Product group, Dimensions, double-click Product Category. Notice how it is automatically added to the horizontal bucket. Next, for measures, drag Gross Profit to the vertical bucket. Similarly, drag Cost of Goods to the canvas. Notice how these fields are automatically added to the vertical bucket. The Chart Layout buttons let you alter the chart types within each chart type. This means the simple list of charts you see in the Chart Picker is actually a really big list. Here, for bar type charts, you can pick Stacked, Side by Side, Absolute, which gives a quick comparison of two measures, and Percent, which presents a comparison of share for the measure against the total combined amount. Click Side by Side to turn your chart into a Side by Side chart. You can also split the Y axis. This is a powerful feature that lets your users see the axis values for each measure separately. It provides an easy way to compare changes across time or other dimensions. You can change the chart type to see how a different format meets your needs. You can also format your chart to add titles, labels, and other facets. For more information, see the Formatting Charts video. You can preview your charts as you create them to see how your data displays, or to check the styling you chose before publishing it or sharing it with others. Launch the preview by clicking Preview on the Quick Access Toolbar. You can exit the preview using the Escape key on your keyboard. If you are working with a chart that contains prompts for parameters, pressing the Escape key opens or closes the parameter panel. In this case, you can use the blue dot in your browser window to return to the design view of your chart. Finally, add a thumbnail for your chart, which makes the object readily identifiable in the WebFocus homepage for access or reuse. To create a thumbnail, on the WebFocus Designer Toolbar, Click Thumbnail. To learn more, visit the WebFocus A205 Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.